Hi, it's Tony Robbins again. Listen, I'm so glad that you made it to our free training series because I want to share with you in this series some of the most valuable strategies and some of the most powerful tools that create profound and lasting change in yourself and in the people you're able to serve. You're going to see how it's possible to transform people so that they're able to conquer their limitations, resolve the inner conflicts that stop people, and really create a whole new life that's filled with more meaning and more fulfillment, which is what everybody truly wants. You're also going to see examples of real people who are able to learn my strategies, put them into use, and create amazing changes in their lives and the lives of so many other people. And you'll also meet my partners at Robbins Madonnas and our, my fellow teachers, Chloe Madonnas and Mark and Magalie Pesha. They're going to teach you directly how to do what I do, but also how to develop your own individual way of creating positive change. So whether you're looking at your own skills with people or you're looking for a new way to transform your own life, you're in the right place. In fact, we've had people transform everything in their lives radically. Marriages that were over brought back together and brought passion brought to it. Relationships mended where people thought it could never be turned around. Children turned around. Careers lifted and elevated on a huge scale. People transforming their bodies, losing 30, 50, 60, some places 300 pounds just by using the free training series you're about to receive through the email. So be sure to open up your emails, pay attention so they don't get lost. So now let's get started. You're about to see one of our key strategies, one that you can use to transform many serious or difficult life problems in the space of one conversation. And more importantly, not only just solve the problem, but empower your client to transform their entire life in the process. Our journey together is just beginning. Let's take our first steps together right now. Hey, this is Mark Pesha, CEO and co-founder of Robbins Bananas Training, where we train people to become world-class agents of change in their own lives and the lives of others. We teach a method of coaching called strategic intervention, which is developed by best-selling author and speaker Anthony Robbins, world-renowned teacher of therapists and coaches Chloe Madonis, master coach and co-founder of strategic intervention Magli Pesha, and myself. And the questions we often get from people is, how do you create change in yourself? Well, I want to share with you our number one strategy for creating positive change. It's a strategy that you can use on yourself, and get the benefits for yourself, but it's also a gift that you can give to others around you. And the foundation of the strategy is this. We help you discover your individual source of strength, your sense of purpose and meaning that empowers you, that energizes you, and that animates you. When you tap into this deeper meaning in your life and purpose, everything changes. You amplify your ability to understand yourself, to understand others, to create value for others. And when you create value for others, you'll be able to create more value for yourself as well. Now, there are a lot of places on the internet where you can hear positive thinking and great philosophies and ideas, but at Robbins Madonna's training, we focus on real results. What we care about are the real practice steps that you and I can take today to improve your life. And so that when we talk about tapping into your individual sense of purpose and meaning, your power, if you will, it's not just fancy talk. We're talking about a real thing that you could be doing right away, and we'll show you how to do it yourself. So I'm gonna show you how Tony Robbins helped a young man who was in a really devastated place in his life. He had screwed everything up, he felt. He was hitting the wall. He felt like he was without hope. And you're gonna see how Tony uses some simple strategies to uplift this man. So he breaks through his greatest fears, taps into his inner purpose, and makes his dreams come true. Now, as you watch Tony help this young man change, you may be tempted to think that it's magic, but it's not. With a few pointers, you can help people change just like Tony did. It may be hard to believe, but in a few moments, you'll know it's true. This is a true turning point in the man's life, and we're gonna see ways that this can help you and the people around you, and you're gonna see it right now. Now, I've been developing the field of strategic intervention for over 12 years now, and I want to share with you one of the most useful frameworks for understanding how to create lasting change, which I call the five basic moves of strategic intervention. These moves are like the five fingers of your hand. So let's go through the moves and we're going to see how Tony uses them to create change in real time with real people. The first move is called state. We understand emotional state. So in the diagram, state is like the thumbs up. It's like the thumb that we use to communicate how we're feeling, right? When we're feeling well. So if you're trying to help someone, ask yourself, how are they feeling? If you're trying to help yourself, ask yourself, how am I feeling right now? What's my mood? What's my emotion? You see, we tend to think that our emotions are a consequence of what's happening to us. 
And in part, that's true. Things that happen to you do affect your emotions, right? But the opposite is true as well. The way you feel affects what happens to you and obviously how you feel. And instinctually, we all know that the moods we carry around with us affect what happens to us as well. I mean, take a character like Charlie Brown from Peanuts, right? He has depressing things happen to him, but partially we get it because he comes in with a Charlie Brown attitude, right? And to pick another children's book character, we all know Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh, right? He looks at life and every experience in a certain way, and that influences everything about him in the story. So it happens in real life as well. We don't have to ignore that. So when you step up to help someone, the first thing to be aware of is their emotional state. Because if you can help someone to shift their state, new things become possible for them, as you will soon see. The second move is the index finger, the pointer finger. And we use that to represent focus. So if you're trying to solve a problem, ask yourself, what's my focus right now? What am I pointing at? Am I focusing on something that I want or something that I don't want? What do I really want? Am I seeing the opportunities or only the obstacles? Or am I focusing on a relationship that's giving me trouble? Or am I focusing on a conflict with someone else? Imagine that you're driving your kids home on a very snowy day and you're making a turn and you're noticing that your car is starting to slide over the ice towards a tree, All right? When, when that happens, we have to choose what we look at, right? We either look at a tree, the direction we're heading, unfortunately, or we focus on what needs to happen, on where we wanna go, how to get back into the right direction. So when you're scared, you're going to want to look at the tree because that's what fear does. We focus on the danger. But any experienced driver will tell you what you need to focus on. You need to focus on where you want your car to go. So you already know that tree is there. You don't have to focus on it. Focus on the road, focus on where you wanna go and what you need to do and the car will follow. That's how it works. So very often when someone needs help, the most helpful thing is to help them switch their focus towards what they want instead of what they don't want. Sounds simple, but it's often the most important move. So that's move number two. The third move is meaning, represented by the middle finger, which can be a powerful finger, right? Let's put it that way. And when we have trouble moving forward with something in life, that's something that's holding us back, something we really want in life, but we're uncertain. We don't wanna take a risk. We don't believe in ourselves or we feel the conflict. So these are all meanings. As coaches, we know how to find meanings in ourselves and in others. And we know how to shift meanings and replace meanings. And we know how to give ourselves the meanings that will give us the power and strength to find a change or a result in our lives. The fourth move is the ring finger representing relationships. We ask, what am I relating to? You see, relating is an act of the heart. Who are the key people in my life? Who do I care about right now? Who figures into my formula for my life? And if you're trying to help someone, who are the key people in their lives? No person's an island, we're all connected to other people. So understanding those relationships, when we do that, we discover the client's love, we discover our love, and love is a secret motivator that moves all things. So in our approach, we believe that love is the strongest force. We appreciate and honor the relationships that our clients have in their lives, and that we make sure that everything we do helps those relationships get stronger. So you'll notice how quickly Tony connects with people to bring out the love in their lives, and how we work to support those relationships so you strengthen those relationships with the people you love. And the fifth move is to find the small actions with big consequences, a strategy represented by the little finger. So the keystone of strategic intervention is that we can solve very big problems with very small actions. People usually think, oh, how am I gonna solve this? This is huge. This huge problem will need a huge solution. And we say, no, what's the smallest action I could take right now to turn this around? You know, many people in the world may feel bad about how they're doing, but they're actually doing very well. You see, problems are often like a grain of sand in your shoe. When you're walking on them, it seems almost impossible to deal with. But as you take your shoe off and you look, it's amazing how small the source of irritation was and how easy it was to get rid of it. So when you unpack people's problems as a coach, 
you'll be stunned at how little it took to create a huge improvement in their lives. In fact, what's amazing is that when you solve one problem, it often creates solutions and good benefits in many other areas of your life. It's like if you throw a pebble into a pond. It only takes one small pebble to create ripples that reach every part of the shore. Now let's look at the five basic moves in action in a quick seven minute intervention that Tony carried out with a young man who had a lifelong stutter. Let's start right now. My name is Rashad. Bill. I've um, stuttered um, for as long as I can remember. My freshman year of college, one of the first courses I, I took was a speech clash, and I froze. The grade I received was an F. I went from a full-time college student on scholarship to stocking shelves on the, the graveyard shift at minimum wage. The industry I'm in is, is basically a sales industry and stuttering has gotten in the uh, way of closing a deal or even to schedule an appointment. I could have a more successful uh, career um, if I spoke fluently. Tony, it would mean so much to me if you could help Rashad with his stutter. He's such an incredible man, and I know that there's so much more potential that he has. Every day is a struggle for him. His stutter holds him back a lot and makes him question himself. It's so hard because I can't do anything about it. Tony, if you could help, that would just mean so much to, to me and to our family. Rashad, nice to meet you. Thank you too. Well, tell me a little bit, if you would, about uh, what's going on in your life. I understand you're having difficulty in terms of a speech impediment or stuttering. I just know in my, my life, I rejected it. I was ashamed of it. I drew back and was extremely introverted, but accepted. You've gone through several stages that are perfect stages. You've gone through ashamed, you've gone through rejection, and you've gone through acceptance. You've accepted this experience. Now that you've accepted it, you're gonna eliminate it. Yeah, sign me up for that right now. Okay, now I want you to notice what you just said. Do that exactly like you said. Yeah, sign me up for that right now. Say that again. Yes, sign me up for that right now. Now, you just spoke perfectly. Now, there were other parts of your speech that were perfect as well, but you just demonstrated what I'm going to show you. It's hard as human beings to figure out what makes people do what they do, but because I've spent 30 years in 100 countries with more than, you know, three and a half million people, at this point, I could be an idiot, and I'd have to see there's patterns that make people crazy, that make people happy, that make them fulfilled, that make them stutter. Once you know what the pattern is, it's so easy to change. Almost every unconscious pattern happened a long time ago when we make a decision about something. We model something. We model a behavior or we reject a behavior. It goes deep in our unconscious and becomes a pattern to avoid pain or to gain pleasure. When did you start stuttering? Tell me the moment. What's your earliest memory? What's your earliest memory in life? Take a moment, your earliest memory in life. Probably two years old, just get up on a Saturday, watching cartoons and eating cereal. I believe it was Rocky and Bullwinkle. And Bullwinkle, does he have a stutter? Rocky? And that's your earliest memory. 
And when Bullwinkle got himself in trouble, how did he get out of trouble when somebody was gonna like torture him or do something bad to him? He would scream out, Rocky, right? And he always stuttered when he said it. Mm -hmm. So I want you to do this. All patterns like that happen because you've forgotten something that happened right before that moment. And now you're locked in by the pattern. There's a decision you made or something you experienced or life was very different right before that moment. Go back to right before that moment and I want you to recapture what you forgot. My parents were probably arguing. That happened quite often, yes. um, like to the point where my uh, dad got physical. And you didn't know what to do, did you? Needed clarity and assurance. Yeah. Did you get it? I guess I got that from a Rocky. Yes. <laughs> Because the one thing Rocky always responded to was... Don't cry for help. But not just to cry for help. A stuttering cry for help. Even a child who can't consciously understand it, who feels helpless, will find a way to intervene and stop pain going between those he loves. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways to do that is create a new problem. So you found a way to protect your mother, stop your father from beating her, and it worked. That was perfect for a two-year-old. Not good for a 30-year-old Rashad. Right. So now what? Do we stay two? No, 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 we don't stay two. We don't stay two. You're a man now. You're 30 years old. You've lived life. You've been through all kinds of stuff. There's a warrior in you, Rashad. Feel him where he is. Breathe him in. The warrior is the one who can face anything and storm through it. The warrior, once he sets his mind to it, he will do whatever battle is necessary for his wife, for his family, for himself. Make the sound of the warrior. The first sound that comes to you, make the sound. Make the sound of the warrior. Ah! The warrior does not stutter. Ever. Own the warrior. Ah! Tell me what the warrior says now. The warrior says, I am free. The warrior says. The warrior says I am brilliant. That's right. The warrior says. The warrior says that I am electric. The warrior says. I am awesome. Ask the warrior, do you need to stutter anymore? No. Oh, man. That was awesome. <laughs> You're awesome. Thank you, thank you. Wow. So, what's next, coach? <laughs> Give him a hand, Rashad, ladies and gentlemen. Rashad, give it up for Rashad. Whoa. Whoa. Just a quick question. Just a quick question. Would you just share, Rashad? What was going on before and what's changed for you? Tony, um, it's just been locked up inside of me forever. I've had a speech impediment. I've stuttered my entire life. Guys, 30 years of stuttering, stammering, but that was a condition that I chose. I chose to stay there. I chose to identify as a stutterer. Because why? I was afraid of greatness. I was afraid of my light shining, but no more. Cause today, I am the voice. Today, I am the warrior. Today, lives will be changed. Today, I saw this moment as a child. I knew that I would be on stage talking to countless of thousands of people. Thank you for the pain. Thank you for the obstacles because that brought me here today to talk to you my story to give you me now you got me now get you and do it
So what you just saw was a transformation for a man who had lost his belief in himself. He felt he was hopeless and useless to a man who now had been set on fire by this personal sense of purpose. And you know, when Rashad found himself again, he remembered, he remembered what he was really about. Tony helped him by using the five moves of strategic intervention, which I mentioned previously. So let's go over them in a little more detail so you can use the same techniques. First move, emotional state. Rashad thought that his stutter was something that he couldn't change. He thought it was his life circumstances or his stutter himself. He didn't realize that it was his own emotional patterns were limiting his options. So with Tony's help, he was able to tap into his greater purpose and his greater power. Second move, his focus. Instead of being tight and timid and tense about stuttering and afraid to stutter and therefore afraid to speak, when Rashad focused on what he really cared about and what was in his heart, he was able to overcome his stutter and speak fluently. That's focus. Third move, the meaning he's creating. When he discovered the real meaning that was behind his stutter, he was able to focus on a new meaning that was nourishing to him and that gave him the power to build his future. Fourth move, his relationships. Instead of being tied to his parents in the past as a child, Rashad was able to reposition himself and associate to the real power of his love for his wife and for his family. And the fifth move, taking strategic action. Tony guided Rashad to take the strategic action to transform his life. When Tony helped him make these five moves of change, Rashad was able to access his true inner power, expand his possibilities, and start living his life at the level of his purpose. All his life, Rashad had felt that he could speak to people and help them to change their lives. And all his life, he had felt kind of defective and unable to act on that belief. But through Tony's coaching and the power of strategic intervention, Rashad was able to access his true purpose and create a path of growth and contribution in his life. Notice how quickly and easily Tony was able to assist Rashad in transforming his life. Tony and I would like to enable you to do the same thing in yourself so you can help yourself and help others as well. Now I'd like you to close your eyes and think of a time not very far off where you have the ability to create change in yourself and others. When you see someone else who's suffering, when you can take them by the hand, understand them, and see that one bit that will make the biggest difference to them. It's like finding that grain of sand and putting your shoes back on and saying, wow, I can't believe how much better that feels. And I can't believe it was just a little grain of sand that caused all that trouble. So often, that's how problems present, and that's how we solve them. So when you have the ability to see problems as grains of sand, how much more clarity and confidence does that give you? It's a whole different life. Now let me state, I hope you're ready to discover your deeper strengths, to empower yourself in what you believe and what you want for yourself and learn to create positive changes in yourself and those around you. In truth, I suspect that you're a natural born life coach. How do I know this? The fact that you're here with us now means that you have talents that you've probably hidden for a long time. You know, I don't know what brought us together here, but I have to say, I trust it. I trust that whatever it is in you that's driving you to help others and to help yourself, that's something I trust. In truth, I suspect that you're being called to become a life coach. So my guess is that people in your life probably consider you a good listener. People come to you because you have a heart that wants to help and they wanna share their problems because you have a wise insight into their situation. Wouldn't it be great if you can help them even more by having the very best tools? You see, so many of our life problems are patterns that are shared by all of us. And when you understand these patterns, you can recognize them in people, you can take them by the hand, and you can give them exactly that piece that's missing for them. Now here's the rub. A lot of people who feel their life purpose is to be a life coach or they feel it might be a perfect fit for them are never shown how to use their natural born talents to become the greatest coach it could possibly be. If you've seen Tony creating amazing change in people, I know it can seem like magic, but it's not. It's not magic. Tony is following an approach that Chloe Madonis, Magli Pesha and I have developed alongside him over the past 14 years. The approach is called strategic intervention and it's a more advanced form of life coaching. You could call it Coaching 2.0. It's advanced because it shows you 
how to create real, profound, practical results in anybody's life within an accelerated time frame. So the strategy you just saw Tony use with Rashad is a strategy we teach and that we use and that hundreds of our students are using with clients this very day, today. You'll meet successful coaches who not long ago were watching a video very much like the one that you're watching now, and they were wondering, could I help people change their lives? And the answer we've heard time and time again is yes. So if there is an area in your life where you'd like to break through to the next level, I hope you'll join us in our next video where you'll learn about a mother of two who is faced with very difficult life conditions, family illness, relationship problems, a very large debt, and yet you'll see how through the power of coaching, she became empowered within minutes and soon had the energy and momentum and initiative and creativity to solve all of her challenges and even become a successful speaker and a coach herself. It's an amazing story. She's an example for all of us. So keep an eye on your inbox. I'll be sending that email to you very shortly. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. This is Mark Pesha, and we'll see you soon.